what is day people zodak here back with another video if this is your first time being here make sure you like and subscribe to the channel now without further ado we're here today on mother's day to talk about the ah. worst mothers in anime <laughs> now i wasn't gonna really do a video or talk about mother's day you know it's just you know i was gonna do something on my mom but vinny too dropped a top 10 worst mothers in anime video and i was like Shit, fuck it, we'll react to it. Because, honestly, in my head, I really can't think of bad moms. Well, The Promise Neverland. The Promise Neverland, if you count that as their mother, which they called her, she could be top 10. Honestly, she could be number one. Um, I can't really think anymore after that, except maybe Urza's, Urza's mother from Fairy Tales. Like, she was pretty much a scum, kind of. But, um, that's it. I can't really think of too many bad ones. It usually be the dads that's like assholes and leave their kids at the age of two. But, you know, I can't really think of any bad moms. But, Vinny2 got us on that. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. And, up next and if you want to watch the original video, make sure Mother's you click so in the description Vinny2 below. So, here has a cool list for you. Anime moms are a dime a dozen. So, yeah. we'll use this special day to remember some of them. However, we're going to make this one more unique. I won't be talking about nice moms who wear that signature hairstyle and exist to die in order to further the plot. Uh -huh. Sorry, Trisha Elric. Also, uh -huh. we're not having a countdown of those rather sexually charged moms, okay? So, sorry. Yeah. Mama. What we're going to do is a countdown of the worst mothers in the anime. The worst. Yep, you heard it right. Strap yourself down as we go through some of the most horrible and atrocious moms the world Yeah, I told you, Urza mom is pretty... pretty yeah, the promise Neverland Isabella. The list is the kids She's number ten though. Field House. I expected like her to be all... like higher up there, like four, even one. Like she, she literally fed her kids to monsters, bro. I like if you read the mug, you understand all that behind it, but. Bro, kind -hearted for I gotta see the rest Isabella of these motherfuckers the of the Grace Field House's children. She treats them well. Yeah, she treats them well, too. And gives them the time of their life. You know. So, what could possibly go wrong? Well, being heavily involved in a system <laughs> that aims to have demons harvest children, for one. This is so freaking tragic, bro. Life. She does have a moment of cruelty where she gets to show off her mean streak. Yeah. Breaking Emma's leg isn't nice and leading bro, to then her she's here to also fuck out of me. I remember that episode. I, like, I was like, what is she gonna do? Anyway, she broke Isabella Isabella finds herself lead. just at number 10 because if you look at things in different angles, Isabella's not that bad after Yeah, all. like Instead, I said. What you have is a tragic story of a foster mother who can't escape the system. She right. manages to survive the cunning in a generation. <sighs> like, if you read the manga or are you... But at what cost? Um... Ninth on the list is Kikyo Zoldik. What is she... Like, I was here as a bad mom. I see her as an annoying mom. Look like, a bad like... Mom at first glance with that icy demeanor and that bandaged face. Wait, what does she do, though? I... I... However, things aren't that bad when you put things into perspective and her relationship with her children. Yeah, like, she's me, very weird and toxic. The is her clinginess or basically how hands-on she becomes when testing her children, especially her favorite one, Killua. Nevertheless, her trials come in some twisted forms, outright causing the deaths of numerous people in the past, including oh. servants of the Zoldic yeah. household. Following our trend of not so bad I mean, she did do that. Kikyo stays but at I don't... the blind spot because aside from her cruel tests, I guess she doesn't seem so bad when you put yeah, her Yeah, like, she was in that bad. She's like... List. Like, I think... Up next is Marianne V. Britannia. Oh, this from Cold Gears. I don't even remember, um... Oh. remembered by her son, it's her death that set Lelouch's the plot into motion. You probably think that you've seen the last of this woman through Lelouch's memories. However, this I remember when they finally, like, secret. introduced well, his all, dad and his mom. She was trash. Using her powers to transfer her soul to Anya. So yeah. she's not actually dead all along. Second, well, not to the extent that her husband reached, she does qualify as an abusive parent who never showed concern for her children. Yeah. Yeah, she even was going to the point like when he found out about his parents i remember they was side. trash her agenda would be akin to rewriting the world along with her husband granted she plotted to do this for the sake of her children but going to the lengths of manipulating them did leave a sour aftertaste like i need to go back and rewatch code years, years, bro i remember Does watching it bro i means? was like i'll leave that for you oh, to decide i remember it was number so seven good. is assassination classrooms hiromi shiota <laughs> she's number six <laughs> so you think you've got strict parents yeah, when I introduced her character, I didn't expect her to be like this, but she wasn't bad, bad. Like, she was, she was toxic, don't get me wrong, but I think in terms of, like, bad moms, I think Emma. I mean, I think uh, Isabella is above her. Like, 
I think she could be number 10, in my opinion. Like, she's a number 10 kid. Like, yeah. Kiromi would likely be a candidate for the tropes poster girl, being Because in the end, she ended up letting and forcing him to dress Nagisa like a do what he wanted. Practically every decision Nagisa makes has to go through Mommy, one who some could even compare to being a sociopath. Even Goro Sensei gets a taste of her fits of anger when someone. Yeah, she went off on her. You know the clincher? <laughs> Hiromi treats her son this way she went because on she gave too. birth to a son instead of a daughter. To be fair, though, Hiromi's disastrous childhood under similarly strict parents yeah, bore she her into where Kuro she was Sensei. at the start of the series. After numerous failures in her life, she attempted to live the life she wanted through her child. Like, yeah, she's really bad. Finding herself I still feel like she's number, number 10. Is Irene Belsirion. Yeah. With all the memes about Urza and how Urza's mother was in the pretty, fairy tale universe, she was pretty wet, bro. Kind of she was trying to, to use, I think she was trying um, to use Urza body, like she was trying to get Urza's the body. As the strongest female wizard of the Spriggan 12, Irene and Urza have no love lost for each other. For Irene, like, she always looked at her child as a curse. A reminder fairy tale has some good stories, but like, stories in the characters. Entire fairy tale series. Hence she dumped Urza, Urza which oh began the long God. journey that soon brought her child into like, the fairy tale guild. Fairy tale is just, if you watched it, and you understand what I'm saying, Urza, you understand. We still see some of the last remnants of her motherly love. Even all the way to the end, she still can't bring herself to kill her daughter. Fifth on the list is Medusa Gorgon. Oh, Soul Eater. Forget she was pretty rough. Because she was an old dude's series, mother, was a sinister and manipulative Didn't witch. like the Even chick or war dress. Out of the way, she passes the terrible mom test with flying colors. Her treatment like, she's pretty of Krona wet. is all you need to look at to get a glimpse of how low she can get. Locking up Krona for disobeying her orders to kill rabbits is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. How about manipulating events and having the master plan of Krona killing her in order to complete the Black Blood? Oh. To say that Krona is without love would be debatable. I mean, you can say that she loves Krona, but she does in her own twisted and sadistic way. I don't know about you, but Medusa for me has absolutely no redeeming was pretty good. whatsoever if we don't count her admittedly cool design. The Indian, you know, is shaky, but in overall, I think so it was is good. Erase. Oh, yeah, she was whack. She was whack. How can we forget Akimi Hinazuki? One of the most memorable moments for all she the was so in a race broke. Is I haven't watched Erased in so long, so I forgot this chick. But I remember watching this, bro, and she was so toxic. She was she was the abusive mother. She was she had the abusive mother trope down to a T. Like this bitch right here. Oh, the boy. poor sight of Gaio being abused by her mom. An unfortunate abusive relationship with her husband and the resulting divorce caused this mother to release her frustrations on yeah, her daughter. She used to be her daughter definitely bro. ugly. She fittingly served as the other antagonist while the mysteries about the one who killed Satoru and yeah, Kaio take bro, a slight Yeah, bro, Erase was a roller coaster, bro. Like, the ending, again, uh, but, it like, watching it, it was something to be, like, and Kaio being I'm gonna be real, Erase, I was like, how did he she not end up with this shit, bro? I, but it's little too late for anyone to it feel was crazy, it was a crazy thing, point. it was a crazy roller coaster, bro. Third place on the list is Big Mom. Big Mom. I can see that. Big Mom from One Piece is the matriarch of quite a large see Big Mom. of her biological children. However, when Especially it comes to like mothers, her whole probably like one of the worst any child could ask for. She used to be, yeah, she used to be low. Uh, wait, what's her name? Low flags does actually get much worse than that. From Big Mom, most of her children are just army pieces to yep. her. Pawns, pieces of her collection, or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't make it any better. Big Mom's the type Big of mother be bad who's not about attacking now. I'll be or real with her you. children for various <laughs> things. So that long ass nose she got in the teeth. She's not exactly the model for a good mother. Yeah, I can't like, see anyone. There's a reason why she got eighty some kids or thirty some Probably kids. I forgot how many kids she got. Get in a mad quest to be the pirate king. You don't need her. They say Saki that the ones who show up the least in anime could have the greatest oh, impact. Such a statement Yuki's, is all the more uh, true when you take you know, a look at mother. Saki Gasai. You know's adaptive mother. Yeah, Saki she is the used one to she used to torture. Okay, I forgot what it, who who it was. It was her dad or her mom. It was her mom that used to like she was going through like depression or something, so she had take it out on you know, and her dad didn't know about it, so she ended up so you know, you know he she didn't understand this, so she ended up killing both of them. bro. For you know, future diary madness. 
Despite Honestly, it's one of my favorite, in the like, proper, anime, it's even though it's, finally if you, you, if you want to judge it, it's not that her, good, but it's very, uh, like, entertaining, ways, as well as psychologically and it twist her. was, you know, mm, it was good, it was good, fuck that, Future Diary was good. certainly don't make a right, I doubt that anyone shed any tears of pity at what happened to nah. Psyche. If anything, nah. you have more people saying that she deserves it, because come on, guys, look at what she did. Yeah, she, she the reason, you know, is, like, a psychopath. <laughs> Number one in our list of worst moms in anime is, of course, Rio. Okay. Hear me out. I haven't <laughs> watched Kill the Kill. Watched Kill, like Kill would no doubt be expecting Ragio on the list. And what do we know? She's right at the very top. We've seen mothers who've been abusive, devious, and manipulative with uh -huh. the previous nine entries. But Ragio takes it a step further. Really no. She's the type of mother who wouldn't only psychologically torment her daughter, Satsuki, but also do things that count as sexual harassment. Oh. Physical abuse from other anime mothers seems like a cakewalk compared to what she subjected Satsuki to. What she do to? didn't have it any better. Huh. She was I might need to watch Kill the supposed death after failed experiments. Their reunion didn't patch things up one bit to say the least. Satsuki also received further torment, being the planned catalyst for Ragio's super weapon. And unlike a lot of moms who get stopped by their parental instinct in a battle mm. against their children, Ragio resolves to strip what remains of her humanity in order to kill Ryuko. Wow. How was that then for a rather unorthodox that was, list? That was, good, that, so was, folks, that was a good list. I feel like some of them was higher kind of than others than they, they should have been. I think I'd prefer but to end overall... This on a more positive note, and maybe we can spend some time commemorating some of the better mothers on the comment section. Yeah, it's some great moms. It's well some great moms in anime. Like, bro, I think you can make a top 20 top mothers in anime, but, like, I, it was hard to figure out bad moms in anime, and he put it together fairly well. I'll be real with you. Like I said, Vinny Two makes some, Vinny Two makes some dope ass top tens, bro. Check them out. Uh, like I said, the links to this video will be in the description below. Comment down below some of y'all, you know what favorite moms? Yeah, like like Vinny Two said, come in the comment section below y'all favorite moms. Um, my personal favorite mom was Erin. Erin's mom from Attack on Titan, just because. Don't get me wrong, like bro, she she didn't have much of an impact on the show, but the fact that she sacrificed herself. Or, like, was willing to give up her life to save Aaron and them. Was like, I was like, damn, bro, that, that's mother love. Even though she kind of regretted it, and like, you know, but when it came to the decision at top, she really she said, go, leave me and take my kids and go. And it was like, bro, this shit was devastating, bro. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the like button. And again, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, Zodak Anime, and I'm out. Peace.